you all right there ladies and gents how's it going just out on a happy hippo i've just been up to rikers to get myself some lunch i did try recording a video on the way up there but the battery went flat at some point i've no idea where so i thought i'll just start again start again with my full full contented belly and keep that bar Talking of full bellies, I definitely need to uh, get on a little bit of a diet. So perhaps going to Rikers today was not the best idea. Just had myself a full English. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm definitely getting a bit of a porker on. And although my winter kit is fine, I can get into all my winter kit no problem at all. My summer stuff, my leathers, I think they're going to be a bit of a squeeze come track day season. I'm sure I'll work something out. I might just get them adjusted. Uh, take them down to nine lives if they're still doing their thing. Oof. It is definitely chilly. It's definitely chilly. It's four degrees, I think, at the moment. Uh, three degrees. It's got colder. I don't know what that is in American, but blooming cold. Blooming cold. And I'm very, very glad for my heated grips, winter gloves, and uh, Oxford super muffs. <laughs> They might be ugly, but they really do a fantastic job of keeping your hands toasty. It might be cold, but it's still blooming lovely getting out on the motorcycle. I do get why uh, some people park their bikes up over winter, certainly in different countries where they have much harsher winters. But over here, as long as you've got decent kit, you can be toasty warm on a bike, even when it's almost freezing degrees, if not below freezing. Just got to Time your rides right with the below freezing stuff, don't you? Though make sure it's not got any moisture on the ground that could have frozen up. The trouble is, then you get all the uh, grit, don't you, and the salt corrosion, which is never nice. Never nice. It's one of the reasons I don't clean my bike um, all the time. I'd much rather have a protective layer of mud on it. Like the Mary Rose, that lasted for years under the water, and it was a bit that was in the mud that was protected from all the salt water. So, uh, yes. There's method behind that madness, I'm sure of it. <laughs> to be honest though, I've got a warranty claim on the, uh, the front of the engine on this. Oops, a daisy. Do you want to do it like that? I think they're all right. Um, yeah, I've got a warranty claim on the engine on the front of the bike because the uh, the Guzzi logo has delaminated. It's it's sort of carved into it. Carved. It's not probably the right words, um, but it's it is carved into it. <laughs> and then there's a like a layer of black over the top of that, and all the black stuff's come away. So my dealership is is going to be replacing that at some point. But there's no point in them doing it over winter. Uh, I think they've got it in stock actually, so I'll have to remind them to do that next time I'm down there come spring. Oh, this is right, this is, this is all right. Now, it's not a hell for leather type weather. There's just not enough temperature in the ground, or possible to get enough temperature in the tyres. To go super crazy. The weather's nice enough to get out on the bike. And like I say, there's no such thing as bad weather. It's just bad kit. <laughs> that works in the UK, and maybe not in Canada. I say that, I say in jest really. Uh, I, I know lots of people pack their bikes up for this time of year. One, because they don't want them to get ruined in all the salt and stuff like that. And others just because they don't like riding in the cold. And we do this for a hobby, we do this for fun. So why would you put yourself through it if you didn't enjoy it this time of year? Uh, so I very much get why people don't ride. But I can't do it that way. I know I need to get out on the bike. I need to just have the wind between me here. and. Just get some bike time. It sorts my head out, it does very much so. I just love having the open road clear in front of me. I don't even like having cars coming towards me. Don't they know I'm out on my motorcycle today? Can't they all just go away and let me have the roads to myself? It'd be much more fun. <laughs> Certainly be safer. <laughs> I'm not going to make this a long video. Uh, yeah, partly because I've done half of the journey already <laughs> and the camera stopped recording prematurely. Damn cold, freezing the GoPro batteries. Um, but yeah, it's what it is. It'll be however long it is. 
talking of cold and GoPro batteries, uh, I recently got the Hero 10 and I'm not humongously impressed with it. I'm not using it at the moment, I've got the 8 on my chin. Uh, but yeah, I've got the Hero 10 and it keeps crashing, um, but I've done a firmware update on it and I'm hoping that, that sorted it out. But GoPro have also released a new battery for the Hero 10 oh, and, and the Hero 9. It's their winter stamina battery. So I'm quite looking forward to trying that out to see if it, one, if the GoPro works any better and two, if actually it has got some decent stamina with those batteries in place. I'm sure they're going to do better than the old ones because, yeah, a bit of a problem child. A bit of a problem child. I think the new GoPro 10 is it, just such a, a drain on batteries. They had to do something. Um, yeah, so hopefully that one will work a bit better. It's really annoying though, they're the same price as the uh, standard ones. I don't know why they don't just ditch the standard ones and, and use them from now on. Instead of calling it endurance battery, why not just call it the GoPro battery and, and get rid of the substandard ones. Um, kind of annoying because I've actually spent quite a lot of money on the substandard GoPro batteries. <laughs> Uh, they're all right in the summer, they last okay-ish, but yeah, I'll be using the new endurance ones for winter riding, that's for sure, when I use the 10. I'm going out uh, tomorrow, uh, not that it will be tomorrow for you, because this will be the Thursday's video, so it will be two days ago, with Mr Fish and possibly Big Pezza, uh, I'm going to be doing some dirty biking stuff, so as long as my camera plays ball this time, my video for next week will be dirty bike stuff, uh, which will be nice, be nice to do that, I haven't... Uh, been out on that for a couple of weeks now I think it is um, and yeah I'm very much looking forward to swinging a leg on that bike and going and getting mucky apparently the trails are really really uh, sloshy at the moment um, just my kind of weather I might fall off more in that sort of stuff but yeah it's just fun it's challenging and uh, yeah in the summer the green lanes are all too easy which means your speed goes up and therefore the amount you piss off the other users of the lanes goes up potentially and I'll try and keep it all respectful but other people tend to uh, get a little bit crazy on their speeds when it's easier and uh, yeah, it doesn't do our reputation very good out on the trails but hopefully I'll get past this Range Rover in a bit They always appear right on all the twiddly bits, the fun bits, where you can't pass them, and it kind of spoils the fun bits. That's a 30 zone now anyway, so it's irrelevant. Time to El Dispatio. Boy boy, traffic jam. Ah, oh, that's better, that's better. Oh yes, 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 yes. It's very nice riding a motorcycle. Uh, brain is well and truly reset. Belly is full of fry up. Hands are toasty warm in my muffs. And motorcycle has had its legs stretched. It's a good day, a good day indeed. Now I said it wasn't going to be very long, and it's not. I'm going to close out here. It's a bit of a nothing video there, sorry about that. Um, it's just me riding my motorcycle. Um, talking of nothing videos, I just put up my review of this bike, and man, that video's gone ballistic. It's, uh, yeah, it really uh, seems to have been a popular choice of video. Unfortunately, I can't just make review videos though, because like I'm not a review channel, and I've only got a limited amount of motorcycles. Um, but yeah, I'm amazed at how well that video has done. It's, it's got mega views, mega views. If you haven't checked it out, just go and have a little look. But it's quite a long video, so uh, yeah, yeah, give yourself a lunch break or something. <laughs> Uh, but yes, I'm um, in traffic again now and it's the end of this video so uh, if you haven't done so already please click that subscribe button and if you like this video why not give it a little thumbs up I do very much like them and if you didn't you can always give it a little thumbs down I don't mind, I don't mind at all but please do drop in a comment I very much love hearing from you anyway, you are safe take care and I shall catch you all in the next one uh, bye bye for now Keep Hey, no, you gotta keep that bar. Rubber side down.